Hi everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor in Portland, coming to you with another weekly walkthrough. This is another one in my very special series that I'm doing on new construction in North Portland. And I'm very excited to show you this contemporary craftsman. It's brand new built, 2018, 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, high-end quality stuff interior throughout this home. And let me, tr trust me, and you're gonna see when we get in there, Three bed, two bath, half bath does not tell the story. There's a lot more room to this house and feel that you are going to love. Let's check it out. All right, let's start in the living room where we've just come in. Gorgeous detail in this house. Signs of quality everywhere. Like, first of all, look at the coffered ceilings. You don't see that in every new construction. That is definitely uh, a great detail, as is the ornate mantle here around the fireplace and the built-ins with some really well-chosen tile. I love that. That textured feels great, looks great. It adorns this natural gas fireplace that turns on and off with just the flick of a switch. That's how you turn your fireplace on and off. Lovely. Wainscoting all throughout the main floor. Take a look here how it's an open floor concept Yet this dining room, the formal dining area, is really squared off by where these pillars are. Doesn't feel closed in at all, yet you've got that feeling of separation and not just one big tunnel from the front door to the back door. One other thing, if we just look behind, I like to point out all these little details, so bear with me. This front door, beautiful, solid wood. It feels solid when you open and close it, even double paned on the glass. There's a lawnmower running full blast outside. I can see it through the window, but I can barely hear it inside here. It's great. All right, let's check out the kitchen. Coming back to the kitchen area, we have this lovely, lovely countertop. White with just a little bit of gray speckle that so that if you had just a little bit of water staining on it or a little bit of debris from after cooking, it's hiding it just nicely without, while well, still giving a really nice clean look. And then just the slight lightest gray cabinets that are all high quality, quiet clothes. You're not gonna have any slamming cabinetry in this house. Beautiful, closes nice and gently. Stainless steel appliances. I believe uh, these are all KitchenAid with the gas range top. And ch check out this, what's this? Our microwave is down here in the island. Fantastic for kids when you want them to heat something up on their own. And then a great, a uh, little bit more fun, funky backsplash tiles. This kitchen opens into a really nice open floor plan to the back uh, living room, which let's call it the family room. We've got the formal living room up front when you come in, back family room back here. All throughout the main, you might also notice really, really nice engineered hardwood floor. Not laminate, straight up hardwood floor. Love it. And this also has its own gas fireplace for back here. It's summertime, I have to turn it on so you can see it, but it's kicking out some really nice heat. I can feel it from here. And then of course, what is the kitchen and back area if it can't open onto a gorgeous covered patio? I really like this covered patio. Got beautiful, nice even poured concrete, and then up above your cover is a really nice stained wood soffit with fan and light. Just a beautiful area to be barbecuing out here, sitting and relaxing in the afternoon. And you'll notice that there, we're in the middle of the afternoon, quarter after three, and we're actually getting some really nice shade on the yard because of a very large tree that's just behind my cameraman here. We don't have to take a look at it, but you can see the shade that's coming from it. And that's gonna keep your uh, save on your lawn, keeping it really green through the summer while still getting great light in the morning. So you are getting light on your lawn, you're just not getting it through the whole range of that sun throughout the day. I think that's a nice little aspect that you can't build into a house. It's just a wonderful feature that is there. All right, heading back inside, let's check out the second floor. Love this wainscoting. As we come up, here is our half bath for the main floor. Also has its own wainscoting in there. 
And just more attention to detail. This stained wood banister handrail looks great. Nice big landing on the second floor. All around me are the bedrooms. Here is our shared bath. Tile countertop. The same high quality quiet clothes cabinets that were in the um, kitchen downstairs. And then with our bathtub shower insert, you've got the decorative tile. Just to add a little extra touch to make it a little bit prettier. It matches with the uh, backsplash here on, on our vanity. And then high quality faucets and taps. Look great. Very, and also a very large mirror. It doesn't just end here at the lights. It extends all the way up and the lights are built right in with the mirror. That is a nice feature that you don't always see. Over here we have one of our two uh, standard bedrooms in the house. It has sliding cabinet uh, closet doors that have a good size to them. Nice length. And then really quality double pane windows. This is a great opportunity to just point this out to you of the quality windows that are throughout the house and not even just ones that are going to uh, rotate and, and open. We've got some nice double hangs, which is a lovely craftsman feature that uh, you need to have in Portland. It's not the old double hangs, it's new ones, but they still look great. And that reminds me to tell you this home with its windows, its tankless water heater, its high efficiency furnace, and the way that it uses energy got a 10 out of 10 on its home energy score. That is something that you should expect from a new construction home, but not all have that 10 out of 10 home energy score. So make sure you check that. Let's check out the master bedroom. Here we are at the master bedroom. Looks lovely. We've got westerly facing windows, so you're gonna get that gorgeous sunset light in the evening. And southerly facing windows that are gonna give you good light through the day. So if you love plants, this would be a beautiful place to have them. Once again, the gorgeous double paned uh, windows. This one's a nice big sliding one so you can get some good airflow through the room. And that leads us into the master bath. Ooh, I love this master bath. Separated toilet from the uh, bathroom area. Great tiled floors. Different tile right here for your large soaker tub with a really nice decorative three-tone backsplash. Actually, it might be four-tone now that I'm counting them. Looks beautiful. And that leads to this gorgeous walk-in shower. Walk-in? Don't believe me? Look at that. I can walk right into it. And this as well. Great walk-in closet. Lots of good space. I just love how they used every bit of space really consciously, really wisely in this house. Great big walk-in closet. All right, let's check out the third floor. Ooh, shouldn't, shouldn't miss this. Our washer and dryer, all on the same level as the other bedrooms. Why have to run your laundry up and down stairs? You can keep it all on this second floor. Washer and dryer hookups, and then your own little linen closet for the room. And so what are we doing with the third floor up here? If we've already seen living rooms and bedrooms, it is just a great hangout space that can be used for a lot of different things. Let me show you to the front of the house here. This is just a great flexible living space. Could be a games room, a craft room, so many things you can do with this. And we're back to not a wall to wall carpet, but that great hardwood floors that we saw on the main. Windows that look out into the backyard, southerly facing windows. One thing that I really like about this is the great head height continues. We're on the third floor. You can see that the ceilings are slanting in, but I'm a full six feet tall and I'm not feeling claustrophobic in this at all. Using crawl space room, there's our uh, beautiful crawl space and shows us that we've got blown in insulation. That's helping with the 10 out of 10 home energy score. And then over to this half of the room, Ooh, I love this space. Check this out. Custom built in wet bar. You've got your tile countertops, the great quiet clothes quality cabinets from downstairs that we saw in the kitchen and the bathrooms. And then really cute built in mini fridge with the glass door, really classy, perfect for just hanging out and entertaining friends in the evening. With windows that are looking out to the north and have a beautiful view 
up over top of all the rooftops in this area because you're in this high up three story house. Feels great up here. All right, that's my tour of this fantastic home, 922 North Farragut here in North Portland. Like I said, it, this house is listed at $579,000. And if you wanna see it in person, I can't stress this enough, it's so easy. All you have to do is give me a call, text or email me, and we will very quickly get you into this house for your own personal tour. And if you like it, I would love to write the offer for you. I'm Alex Roy, working with buyers all across Portland and working hard for your success.